Hi, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. Hey, we're going to start a political series as far as involvement. You, I'm talking to you. That's right. Don't go away. Involvement in our great political system. But what happens? You know, most of us, we talk about we don't go to civic meetings. We don't get involved in the community. We don't help our neighbors. But when it's time for that uh, a budget hearing or whatever, get involved in your political system of your country, okay, no matter where it is, get involved. And what I mean is you do something, volunteer for something. When the last time you volunteered to do anything in your neighborhood, in your city? Okay, well, what we're going to do here, we're going to start with right at the top. We're going to start with the president and the vice president. Their elders, they need states. The things that they've done, the things that they're trying to do, and the only reason they're successful is because of you or people like you if you're not involved. So it, the major item that we have to talk about is your involvement. How many times have you, yourself, well, the president, he's been involved all over the world. The vice president, all of these people, they've been involved, but they need your support. And what I'm saying is that uh, basically the support goes all the way down to your children. There's a program here in Prince George County that we're going to really talk about. It's going to be getting involved in your community. That this is an appeal to everyone, no matter what age you are, 8 to 80. You know, get involved in your community. That makes us strong. That makes this a strong, strong country. And, and now you, you, it, we're panning through a lot of things that the president affairs, the vice president, they attended because it, but most of these people, they're not politicians. Most of these people are volunteers. And see, that's your duty as a citizen of these United States to get involved. Don't sit home and watch TV and that type of thing. There's many, many things that you can do to make this country strong. And that's what we're about here. In Prince George's County, uh, we have the honorary chairman coming up May 7th uh, with the Patriots. And this is technical training for our young people the future. Now, we talk about the different things that the uh, uh, politicians get involved in. Uh, I like to bring to light the uh, Black History Month celebration in which the Maryland 5th Congressional District, these are people that took their time out and came in to give something to the co community. All right, first of all, we'll start with different people that have actually been keynote speakers for the 5th Congressional District here in Maryland. Okay, we start with Judge Taylor, uh, Junior Slaughter, okay, and then there's, uh, we have uh, uh, Kurt Smoke, we have uh, Perry Mitchell, uh, Sharon uh, uh, Dixon, uh, you, well, you know, former mayor, and then we have uh, Carmen Turner, uh, J James Brown, Jesse Brown, and then we have quite a few. There's uh, Franklin uh, Raines, uh, there's uh, Jesse Jackson Jr., and uh, we have Donna uh, Brazil, and there's so many uh, people that have given a lot of their time. And right in the center there, you have uh, uh, the president, and you have uh, from the TV station, uh, Maureen Bunyan, and then you had Travis uh, uh, Smiley, and then you have uh, Thor Ronald Kirk and Valerie Jess, all of these. And finally, in the corner there, we have uh, none other than the former governor of Virginia, Douglas Waller. Now, these are people that know and the system that have given their time and effort. Then you say, well, hey, look, I'm not a politician. You know, what makes the system work? And you volunteering and making sure. And we had a great example in our new county exec, Rashawn uh, Baker. He's the honorary chairman of Patriots. This is an organization that needs volunteers. You need to get involved in this. They have a fantastic program coming up May 7th. Now, uh, by the time the show comes on, you've heard it's been on the show before, but this, they emphasize 
what they're bringing to Prince George County. We're working with the evolutionary uh, elders to be mentors for this group. And this is going to be a fine program. They got to have all types of uh, uh, promoters there. So, you know, if, if you missed the show, make sure you contact Julian J uh, Jones. Yes, he is the president of Patriots. That's it. So Thurman Jones, he is the president of this organization. They are located down in Seat Pleasant. They go, they're going to have a beautiful, beautiful program. And basically what happens is that they need mentors uh, like the evolutionary elders. They need individuals like you. You, you say, well, I don't have nothing there. Everybody has something to add. When you go down to the headquarters there at the uh, Bank of America building, the Seat Pleasant, there's always something for you to do. And what you have to do, you have to bring your children along, get them involved, do things in the neighborhood, go by the seniors and find out what they need. You know, the senior citizens, sometimes, you know, when everybody leaves, it's, it's basic things that they can be bring the children into the program. And basically, this is what the county exec, Roger and Baker and Thurman Jones, the president, they're trying to bring to Prince George County is a, a, a situation where the polit when you say politics, people think of negative things. But the political system in this country works better than anywhere else in the world. And it's the, a good example is what has happened and what's happening and what the political leaders here in our area are doing as far as the young people and the seniors. Hey, we didn't leave the seniors out. Seniors are involved too. We don't want the seniors to come back, you know, down and not be able to do anything. Most of them are retired technical people that are working with the Patriots. And, but they still need the non-technical people. They need people volunteer, especially the men. I was surprised. I went down there with the rehearsal and asked about, I said, where's the volunteer room, you know? And I looked in there, and it was about 90% women. So, hey, man, you have to get off your hunches, you know. Don't just drop your son or daughter. Get involved in this patriot because this Patriot program, it shows you what the media can do and what private industry is heavily involved in this. You find that they are bringing uh, instructors, everything in. And what happens is they're going to have competition there. It's not going to be just a show. It's going to be competition where young people be competing against the others. And what happens is the sponsors, you know, this takes money. So we have outstanding sponsors. We have the Navy Academy, we have GE. We have all of that. They're going to be there. And what happened is these young people that are going to be competing, they're going to be competing against each other uh, on, hey, sim flying simulator. You've heard the uh, flight simulators and things of that nature, well, they're going to compete against others, just like if they're flying another airplane. They're going to have technical people there. They're going to have the evolutionary elders there. They have mentors that, that these young people have an opportunity to, uh, that's what I'm saying, get a scholarship. You know what a scholarship, most scholarships are around 150 to 200,000. You know, that's just a, when a kid get a, a note, uh, to go to school, they're talking about, hey, uh, house note. You know, they end up on 40 and 50,000. Here, this program here gives the kid that doesn't have the money an opportunity to compete for this scholarship money. And like, like I said, uh, our earlier Thurman Jones and the county exec have gotten together with this program, and this program is none, number one. Let's make it a big success. You can do it. You know, but the idea is that we need you. Yes, I'm talking to you. We need you, no matter what you can do or what you can't do. But one thing you can do, you can volunteer. So we really want this to be a successful program. And what I'm going to be doing, I want to bring other uh, 
politicians in and just let you see the types of things that they're doing, positive things for your community. And in order for them to do these things, you have to be there. You can't sit at home. You can't sit at home and complain. What contribution have you made to the development of your country, your community? Have you done, what have you done? Volunteer. I don't mean somebody force you. I mean when you put it aside, just like you put it in your budget, you put money in your budget, you put it time in that you're going to volunteer to work in your community. See, a lot of people, they think, you know, it's easy to sit back and, and uh, call this politician names, say he's not doing anything, or this type of thing. But the reason uh, uh, political people behave like they do, if they don't have any pressure, that's when they do what they want to do. But in order to make sure that your system is functioning and working, uh, I'm asking you to take time to volunteer for something. It's something out there that you can do. I don't care what it is, cutting grass for the uh, 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 seniors or doing chores around. Make sure that you participate. Most of us want all the goodies, but we don't want to pay our dues. There's <laughs> a whole lot of us out there that want to. They are very critical of anyone that's trying to do something. But you ask them to volunteer their time. Oh, no. Or either they, well, uh, I'll take John or Jane to, the, to that program. That's a good program. I'll drop them off, and then I go to a baseball game or go to a, uh, some kind of uh, meeting of some type. This, this is what we have to really get away from. And this is the beginning here in uh, Prince George County with this Patriots to get involved in your community, get involved in the political system. So that's the mo one of the most important things that's going to occur as far as I'm concerned in this year is getting the young people and the evolutionary elders. These are retired mentors, college professors that are taking their time. They're not getting a quarter. They're volunteering to train. But you, we have the U.S. Navy, we have all sorts of corporations that involve volunteering individuals to come in and teach these youngsters on technical level. And I was surprised. I went to the rehearsal. <laughs> they had some 10, 11-year-olds there, and they were breaking down the computers. I mean, I don't mean, you know, just playing with it, playing games. They were breaking the technical aspects of it down, B breaking it down, fixing parts, moving this, and the same thing, I think that uh, center built four flight simulators. I mean, from scratch. I mean, uh, but they had mentors there, people from the U.S. Navy, the, the uh, Army, and, and some of the uh, government agency, they volunteered their time. And this, is, this particular program is a nonprofit. Everyone's involved in it. They're giving back. Everybody has to give back. We like to enjoy all the goodies, but are we paying any dues? See, that's the thing. Ask you, look in the mirror <laughs> and say, what have I done for someone else lately? You know what I mean? All of us have a hand out you want, and your first thing you want to do is blame the government, you know what I mean? But you won't go to the budget hearing. You won't go to the uh, PTA, but you say, that's a lousy school system. But, you know, and especially, I, I have to be honest with you, especially the males. The males are really guilty of this. The women, they're out there. And I, I saw a great example of that at this rehearsal that the Patriots had. Was, I think it was 90% women volunteered. Now, hey, buddies, you guys got to, uh, you know, let the game go or do something.